so that you can understand what I'm going to be making today, let me give you a few facts first. Armadillos are native to the Tuscan region of Italy. They were introduced to North America during trading voyages in the 1400s. Once here, they hunted in wild packs that would take down entire cows and pigs. That led to the eggs they laid being covered in the raw meat of their prey. So it's only natural that today I'm going to be making armadillo eggs Italian style. So armadillo eggs are basically a jalapeno popper wrapped in meat and then either grilled or smoked. We're going to be smoking them today. And the first step is we've got to prep these four jalapeno peppers that I have right here. We're going to cut the ends off and we're going to clean them out. There's many different ways to clean out jalapeno pepper. You can get a coring tool. I have one of those and it works pretty well. Want to try and keep the outer shell as intact as possible. This is basically what we're looking for. A jalapeno that's been hollowed out. I'm going to go ahead and prep the other three and then we'll move on to filling them. What I'm going to be filling the jalapenos with is this mozzarella blend. It has peppers mixed into it, basil, different herbs, sort of a very Italian flavoring to it. This is more than we're going to need. I'm not going to use all of it, but I'm going to break this down into pieces that I can put into the jalapenos. I'm just sort of eyeballing it here. And we'll be adjusting as we fill these jalapenos. So I've got four pieces that should fit pretty good into the jalapenos, maybe with a little trimming. So I'm just going to start by breaking some of these pieces and shoving them down into the jalapeno, just filling it. Whatever doesn't fit, we'll just break off and use for something else. Here's one of our filled jalapenos. Let's fill the rest. We're just pushing it all the way down in there. You want to get a good amount in there. You might overfill it a little, that's okay, but you don't want it bursting completely out all over the place. If it pokes out a little bit, that's fine. All right, our jalapenos are filled with that mozzarella mixture. Now it's time to wrap these in some hot Italian sausage. So I have some parchment paper down on my cutting board. It's gonna make it easier when we're forming these, keep it a little cleaner. But here I have hot Italian sausage. It's just the bulk kind you buy from the butcher. I've got two pounds here. That's gonna be more than we need. Whatever we don't use, I'll make something else out of later. But let's get started in making these armadillo eggs. So I'm just gonna start with a good amount of this hot Italian sausage. And we may need to add more, subtract some. It just depends on how it goes in the wrapping process. So I'm gonna take sort of our small one first. We're just gonna start wrapping it. And we're gonna pick it up work the sausage around our jalapeno until it looks like an egg. I'm going to set that one aside, make another one. So there is a good amount of that Italian sausage. Got one of the bigger jalapenos I'm putting into it. Just going to wrap it up. And work this sausage all around it. Some of these eggs are going to be bigger than others unless you have, you know, jalapenos that are the same size. Egg number two. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these ready and I'll bring you back. Here are our armadillo eggs Italian style. They are honking and I ended up using all two pounds of that Italian sausage. So these are going to be some meaty armadillo eggs. So right now I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for two or three hours to firm up. Then I'm going to take them out to the Weber kettle and smoke them with olive wood. I'll bring you back when it's time to take them outside and get them cooking. All right, I fired up the Weber kettle about half an hour ago using the slow ones here. It's up to temp. It's time to get these Italian style armadillo eggs on. All right, so I have my rectangular grid pan 
resting on the cooking grate, that'll support the armadillo eggs a little bit easier than just putting them on the cooking grate. As you can see, the slow and is already going. So I'm gonna get these eggs on and then we're gonna add our olive wood. I'm putting these a little bit back from the slow and sear because I want this to be a true indirect cook. Pretty good. If we get a little bit of leakage, that's all right. Let's get a stick of olive wood on here and let that catch. After trying olive wood not that long ago, I've really come to like this and I think it's going to go well with this Italian sausage wrap on these armadillo eggs. As soon as we have a good flame with it, I'll put the lid on. It'll smother down and start creating its wonderful smoke. It's a very earthy smoke from this olive wood. All right, we've got good flame. Let's go ahead and get the lid on. I'm gonna be smoking these probably at about 300 degrees. Might go a little higher than that, that's fine. Time could be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, I don't know. But I know that I'm taking these to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. This is ground meat, so you do wanna cook it fully. After about 25 minutes, I'm gonna be glazing it very lightly with a bit of barbecue sauce, just to give it a nice little color on the outside. So I'll bring you back when it's time to put that barbecue sauce on. All right, the kettle temp is 294, right around 300. That's what I want. Anywhere in that range will work for this. It's been 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and have a look at these before we glaze them. These are looking very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do a, just a quick temperature check here, and it's a little tricky with things like this because the center of it is a jalapeno stuffed with mozzarella. So I'm just gonna kind of get a gauge here on where we're at. It looks like we're at about 125, so we still have 40 degrees to go minimum. I'm guessing another 20 minutes when I'm mean, absolutely sure that these are cooked. So let's go ahead and give these a glaze. So we're not going with a heavy, heavy barbecue sauce. I think this is a Lindemann's or something like that that I have. It's kind of a neutral barbecue sauce. Not too sweet, not too savory. All right, let's put another stick of olive on here too. All right, our stick of olive is caught. Let's get the lid back on, keep cooking. All right, they've been in here for about 20 minutes with that glaze on them, total 45 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Looking really good. And you can see we've got a little bit of some cheese oozing, it looks like. So that probably means we're getting close to being done in there. I'm just gonna give this a check on some of these. See, we're in the 150s, 153, 155. I think we're gonna need probably another 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I'm gonna say another 10 minutes and we should be good. So let's get the lid back on, let them finish up. All right, that little 10 minutes we added is up. Let's give it a look. All right, let's give another check here. Said it's tricky with that jalapeno in the middle. Check this one here. We are good. All right, let's get these off. See if we can do it with tongs or if we're gonna need the spatula. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the spatula. Right here are our armadillo eggs. I think it's this one right here that I'm gonna cut into. So I'm gonna turn him because we got a little bit of cheese coming out already, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful center on that. Can you see that? Can you guess that I really want to get in here and taste this? <laughs> it looks amazing. All right, let's taste this. So the trick with these is getting a little bit of everything in every bite. So we have that jalapeno, the cheese, and this Italian sausage that's wrapped it all. And here we go. Oh man, that is really good. Even that little bit of barbecue glaze on the outside is nice, but man, the star is that jalapeno with the mozzarella inside. Oh boy. Another thing you can do with these armadillo eggs is slice them 
and use them for sandwiches. You can put them on a hamburger bun. It's almost like a little bit of an Italian meatloaf sandwich when you're using Italian sausage. Mmm. I'm going for a big bite this time. I've got to say, when you pair mozzarella with hot Italian sausage or sweet Italian sausage, you get that amazing, almost meatball-like flavor in there. And when you throw the jalapeno in, oh. Mmm. Now, if you want your jalapenos softer inside something like this, you could cook them a little bit first before you stuff them. Not very long, you don't want them mushy, but these still have a little bit of a bite. They're definitely softer than raw, but they have a nice little crunch to them when you bite in. Mm. And remember, if you're making armadillo eggs, you can make them with just about anything you want. Any kind of pepper there in the middle to stuff, any kind of cheese, wrap it with ground beef, ground pork, ground lamb, anything you want. The method and the process is the same. And I gotta tell you, that olive wood adds such great flavor to meat. And it actually, I think, really enhances the color. Every time I've done something with it, the color on the meat that I use just looks gorgeous. I don't know what explains that, but I definitely see it. So if you're looking for something special that you can smoke or grill, let me tell you, armadillo eggs are simple, they look great, and they taste awesome. Mm.